Okay, everyone, welcome back. It's Carol Wedby, your favorite Pesca Vinny vegan, who's baby Yoda today. And I'm gonna do my second Halloween specific video of the day. This is to make a dead man meatloaf. If you follow me on any of my personal pages, you've seen pictures of this, but I'm gonna show you how I make it. So again, this recipe came from the All Recipes Dinner Spinner app, and it's called Dead Man Meatloaf. And I'll put the link in the description box, but we're using venison. So you know how I say pesky, pesca vena vegan? That means we eat fish and also venison. That's two pounds of ground venison right there. And then one diced onion. So I've already got that stuff in there. I got the um, diced onion from the frozen chopped onion bag here. And it calls for one onion, so I did three-fourths of a cup because, you know, that's roughly one onion. So that is in there so far. Now, normally what it says in this recipe is that you use a tablespoon of butter and you use a regular onion and you cook it on the stove in the butter until it's softened and you put the garlic in there with it. But since I'm using already chopped onion that's already thawed and already soft, I don't need to do that. So I eliminated the butter from the recipe. I also eliminated the need for minced garlic. So it calls for one tablespoon of minced garlic. Instead, that equals three fourths of a teaspoon of dried garlic powder. So that's what we're gonna use. So one tablespoon minced is equal to three fourths of a teaspoon garlic powder. also calls for one cup of chopped celery. Again, you've, you've seen my other videos, you know I don't keep a lot of chopped celery. But to get the flavor of the chopped celery, I'm gonna use celery flakes here. So dried celery flakes, eh, like two to three tablespoons equals the amount of chopped celery it's asking for here. So we're gonna use three tablespoons. Just so we get the flavor. All right, next ingredient is two eggs. Now we're vegan here, besides the venison. I'm allergic to eggs. So we're never gonna use real eggs. So this is called Just Egg. It's from the Just brand. It is vegan egg. It's liquid, it's great. You can scramble it, you can make omelets out of it. It's awesome. And just so you know, three tablespoons of Just Egg equals one egg. So it says we need two eggs, so that's six tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two eggs, six tablespoons of just egg. Vegan egg. And then it says two pounds of lean ground beef, which I'm not using beef, I'm using venison, it's already in there. Um, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. So we're gonna do that next. my Cajun seasoning here. So we're gonna use one tablespoon of this Cajun seasoning. Spicy dead man. All right. Then it calls for one cup of seasoned breadcrumbs and that's all that we need in this mixture. So if you watched my baked fish video, you've seen these before. This is Connect Connect gluten-free panko breadcrumbs. So we're gonna use these to make, to do the breadcrumbs, and it says one cup. This is a three-fourths of a cup, so I gotta do a little bit extra to equal one cup. So that is one cup of seasoned panko breadcrumbs that are gluten-free. All right, so now that we've got everything in there, we need to mix it together. Then we're going to form it into the dead man. So get my hands dirty here, mix it up, mix it up. 
<laughs> this is when it's okay to play with your food. Mixing up the meatloaf. Then comes the fun part. Well, this is kind of fun. But forming it into the dead man before you put it into the oven. Got some of these breadcrumbs that are not quite mixed in yet, so I'm gonna keep mixing for a second here. All right, I've mixed up my meatloaf mixture. Got my pan, it has been sprayed with nonstick olive oil spray. It is on the nonstick side of the foil. I've got that side facing up. All right, now we've got to form the meat mixture into the shape of a stick man, is what it says. So, first, let's do. We need a head and a body. Both of these are gonna to need to be round. So let's see how big this turns out here. Okay, I'm gonna make this the head. Got my round ball here. Put that and move it up towards the top of my tray here. Then the body is the most of your two pounds of meat mixture here. In our case, venison. This one's gonna be a big ball that we're gonna make the body. So I need a little bit more actually. The rest of it's gonna be arms and legs. Okay, so kind of make the body part into an oval. So the head is more of a circle and I'll show you when I'm done, but. And then I like to connect them. So I like to like smush the connecting pieces together here. You can sort of see it. All right. Oh, if I move closer, you can't see it. I'll move further away. All right, so I've got my head up here, shaped into a circle. Got my body shaped into an oval. If I have any extra meat here after I do the arms and legs, I'll put it in the body. All right, so now we're gonna do an arm. So you know how you have Play-Doh <laughs> and you roll it out into a snake? It's sort of like that. So this is what the arms and legs are gonna look like. So I put his arms facing upward and attach it to the body here. So there's one arm. You gotta do another one here. Again, it's like making a snake a Play-Doh snake. All right, so we're gonna roll it like a snake. Play-Doh snake arm, and there's his other arm. This is our dead man meatloaf here, so we gotta make him look like a man. All right, so he's got two arms, a head, and a body. Now he needs legs. All right. I use a little bit more meat in the legs than I do in the arms because I want them to be a little bit longer. So, roll it out a little bit longer than the arms were. So here's one leg. Now you're looking good, dead man, other than the fact that you're dead. All right, and then we need one more leg here. Press some more of our meat. And if you wanted to make this completely vegan, you can make vegan meat out of crushed nuts um, and seasonings. You can make them. Out, you can make it out of. They have ground um, Beyond Beef meat now that you can buy, like by the pound, in the store, and you could probably use that as well because it functions similarly to this. But since we eat venison, it's the healthiest of the meats you can eat. Healthiest of the animal meats. Again, we're vegan partial vegan because of health reasons, not animal reasons. All 
All right, so I've got his leg on here. I'm attaching it to his body. I didn't have any meat left, so I used it all to make the legs, the body, the arms. I feel like his arms could be a little longer here. When I'm done, I'll show this to you so you can see it. I like to attach his body all together and smooth that out. All right, it's all ready to go in the oven. <laughs> there he is. I'll show you what else he needs. In a minute. All right, our dead man part two. He has been in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 35 minutes. So he just came out of the oven. I've got to put his eyes, his mouth, and his blood on him. So they say to use olives, but I don't have any. So I'm using black beans. So I'm gonna make his eyes into X's. Out of black beans. So there's one eye. Gotta kinda of push it down into the meat because I don't want it to come out. So I gotta cook it for 10 more minutes. All right, there's one eye, here's another eye. Get in there, eyes. I'm gonna move this one over because I think it's too close to the other one. It's more little black bean doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, there's his eyes. Now I'm using cord for his mouth. His teeth, I guess you would call it. This is very delicate work, by the way. <laughs> and it's very hot. Yeah, I think he needs one more on either side here. And I'm just doing this straight across. So the mouth goes straight across and the eyes I've made into X's. Okay, now I need the blood. So you put the blood on his abdomen. Otherwise known as ketchup right here let's make a big circle of it right there then he's going back in the oven for another 10 minutes on 350 and then i'll show you the finished product okay dead man's out of the oven after another 10 minutes at 350 for his mouth and eyes and ketchup <laughs> his blood so now you stick a knife in the middle just a plastic knife of the blood and let me show you the finished product and our dead man meatloaf is complete happy halloween enjoy